I'd love to be in it. When I did, uh, when I used to, I told you guys about me playing MMORPGs. And uh, if they had an archer class, I'd always have an archer class. If they, if you could pick one, because uh, I just I just love them. So yeah, I don't know what it is. I just I just do. I always have. It's like when I play uh, single player games. I mean, if you look at uh, my Skyrim. Look at my Skyrim that I was playing. That's. I just heard somebody. I know I did. I think I can hear that eye. I can hear my eye in Gollum. So I must be near the surface. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, even on the last. Sorry, guys. I had to cut some footage out there. I. Uh, Perhaps froze for a minute. So about 20 seconds. I'm still here doing the same thing though. <laughs> uh, although my game sounds have gone now. And I'm not quite sure why. Okay. Anyway. I'll sort it out later. If, it, if, I, if I get shot. I'll know then that there's something there. I just have to be careful. Uh, but. As I was saying. I wasn't fully. I was, actually. Just while I was thinking. I remembered kind of where it started. My uh, love for archers. Now, I'm going to put an annotation in this video, and it's going to lead to another video that's from a film, a movie that I watched when I was, when I was a child. Um, it's been out a little a few years, like, by this time, but it was a fantasy film, and I was only, I wasn't, you know, I was childlike, and, uh, of course, these fantasy films, you get really into them as a child. You know, first time you see a dragon, you're like, oh, wow, do they exist? You know what I mean? And all this, and you, it's, you your mind as a child has such a great ability ability to access the fantasy part of life and um i saw this film and it was a, it was called hawk the slayer and basically what it's about is a good guy is trying to battle his father no his brother who's a bad guy but to do it he has to get together a group of people and uh, he gets a giant who's who uses a big hammer this uh, normal kind of human guy who has a, um, what is it? He has a crossbow that can fire many bolts really quickly, like tw -tw 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 -tw, one after the other. There's also a dwarf who's amazing with a whip and dagger. And then you've got an elven archer who uh, oh, that's amazing with, with, obviously with bows. Let me put me, my music on. I don't know why I'm putting some music on, I won't be able to hear it, but if my game sounds come back then, See, can't hear it. Uh, well, this is even wrong record. Where did I put far? This isn't right record. Disc, I mean. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah, I've changed my skin to an archer lot. Yay. Like a Robin Hood type. <laughs> I'm still going to be doing, keeping my um, my Lord Hood skin, but let's face it, this name's Gareneth. And I keep getting messages saying to me, "Why is your name Gareth, but you've got Ugg on your chest?" And it doesn't make diff It doesn't make sense. I admit. So uh, let me put my armor on. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, yeah, I'm going to get another get the other disc back, just in case my sounds come back. I'll uh, then I'll um, at least this will be playing. <laughs> I know it's crazy to go and get it back just in a what if, but hey, that's me. So. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna. St I have got a Lord Ugg account, an actual Lord Ugg account, and when I use that, I'm gonna actually be using my Lord Ugg skin. But of course, you when I'm playing Gareth, it doesn't seem it seems pointless wearing Ugg on my chest because it doesn't go with the name. So this is my new skin for now, while I work out what I'm going to have for Gareth, and I don't know what it is yet, but I'll think of something. Anyway, back to the story. So ah, that's the one. Got the right one now. So anyway, I did, um, where was I? Oh yeah, Crow. So I did, I did actually do, and there was this elven archer called Crow. Now there was one thing I've never really got into when it comes law to things like Lord of the Rings. And that's when I see, like, elven archers who have got this, who look so amazing. Like they've got, you know, beautiful clothing on and, and, and the houses are made out of the finest, materials and they've got the best materials for clothing and the the spotlessly clean and talk oh so posh and yes we will join you for your battle our bows are at your disposal and all this and it's it's a bit like i don't believe 
I don't I can't even if that's playing the right tune. If it comes back, yay! Uh, I don't believe that that's how it would be for a race that live in forests. You know, surely your your main resource is obviously wood. So, but yeah, they have nothing really wood to do with them except the bows and arrows. Otherwise, all the buildings are like the finest stone and everything. It just doesn't it doesn't fit to me. Well, Crow in this is basically he wear, and he hasn't got long, flowing, golden, blonde hair like they usually have. He's got sharp, short-cut, dark hair. He's got the pointed ears of an elf. He wears animal hide as a, as a, as his clothes. You know what I mean? It's like a set. It's like a, an outfit of animal hide, which is more believable. You live in a forest. You know what I mean? Of course, you're going to hunt animals. So yeah, I saw this guy, this crow, and he, he looked so much more believable. Let's just nip through here. Oh, one of my torches. I've been here then. Oh, I don't know. So, yeah, it looks so much more, you know, plausible as an elf. And But it was, I suppose, the fact that Mad made him almost a bit unbelievable with how fast he could fire his uh, arrows. For instance, he'd in, in notch an arrow, pull the string back, let go, but then he'd just kind of bring his fingers back again as if he's pulling the string back again and oh hello mr creeper hello mr creeper have that and it's, another arrow would appear and it's you know and his bows and his strings drawn back again and then he'd let go and just pull bring his fingers back again you wouldn't actually see him reach forward and grab the bow string you'd just see him kind of let go with his fingers so the arrow flies and then he'd bring his fingers back and the bow strings pulled back again with another arrow in the in the notched up ready so he could fire really fast like, tuh, 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 like that, really quick and uh i just fell in love with archers from that you're like they are so cool i love you know, and like I say, he seemed to be, he seemed to be like most truest elf, elf no, I did him. He seemed to be most truest elf I've seen. So what I'll do is, as I said, I'll, <coughs> I'll put an annotation in. And, uh, I forgot what I was going to say there. Yeah, I'll, go, I'll put an annotation in and, and uh, it'll re it'll go to a scene a battle scene in Hawk the Slayer where you will see Crow shooting his, uh, his bow and uh, you'll see how fast he does it and it, it's just it's just really I mean you've got to remember when you watch it you're watching it at your age so you might not be impressed but I watched this when I was a kid so it's like at that age this looks so cool you know what I mean so uh, yeah you'll have to you'll have to have a look and, and uh, have a look at it but this that's what started me loving archers anyway and if you look at say Skyrim I have, you know, my main character. My main character in that is also an archer. Yeah, I, I start to furball up, which was like a kaji kind of. I don't know what it was going to become yet, but you know, my main one, the one I did the tutorials from, was an archer, and he's very powerful. So, yeah, I seem to have lit everywhere up. I'm sure I'll find somewhere. Oh, there's that little, um, there's that abandoned mine entrance somewhere. I have to remember. I'll remember where it is later. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, there you go. That's what started my love of archers. So I always prefer to be an archer class if I can be. But uh, so that's why I think I like even on this. I do. I would rather be, you know, shooting things with a bow than fighting things with a sword, because I just enjoy that more. And I don't. I think. I think. I, I don't think I'll go back to MMORPGs. I think I've got that out of my system now. I think that's over. And I've done with them, but if I ever did, I'd certainly, I'd certainly be an archer, and, and no doubt would really enjoy it. Anyway, guys, that's it for now. My game sounds never did come back, <laughs> but never mind. I think I've just about spoke over the top of everything. Uh, well, so anyway, I'm gonna go, and uh, the next episode will have sound, I promise, because uh, I'll have time to set to work it out and find out what happened. It might just need all restarting. Oh. Is somewhere might just need all restarting and, and starting up again it might be all all right then so i'll try it out anyway guys i'm gonna go so i hope you enjoyed this remember to rate like subscribe comment and all that kind of stuff and uh, you take really good care of yourselves and goodbye for now my friends